Hello and welcome to the mail adapter overview. Let's look at the mail adapter and understand what are the options available at the mail adapter. Go to edit mode and you select help. Make sure you select mail. Okay, M A I L mail. Right, let's look at the sender parameters. So at the transport layer, you have IMAP 4 and a POP 3. The sender mail is basically to read emails. Okay, receiver is to send emails. It's very simple to understand. Right. If you want to pull emails from your Gmail, let's say, right, you want to pull all the new emails from your Gmail, then you'll use sender mail. If you want to send a mail to your email address, you will use receiver as our mail adapter. And two protocol that is very famous for receiving the emails, for reading the emails, you use POP3 adapter. For receiving emails, you use SMTP adapter, right? This is basically protocol. Right, for sender side, you can select POP3, whichever transport protocol supported by your mail server, you can select that. Message payload, you have two type XI all and XI payload. If you want to send attachments, say XI all, you want to send whatever in the payload, select XI payload. Right, and then you have URL of your mail server. This you, you can find it when you have a mail server configured. You can ask to that mail server, what is my mail server URL? It will be pop3 colon slash slash and whatever mail server that you have. You can configure the user authentication, how to log in, right, user ID and password. And then generally, how do you fetch the, you can generate the report, like how many mails has been fetched. And also you can set the polling interval here itself. Well, this is a mail attributes. Basically, whatever is in the email in the headers will be copied up to the dynamic configuration. You can keep the attachments you can say quality of effort as exactly once or best effort if it's synchronous one okay and then nothing much in the advanced let's go to the receiver at the receiver side you have to say smtp most common used transport protocol for sending the emails okay and here you see i have used smtp that is the protocol mail.srinvasvanamala.com and the port of the smtp server you can use configure or user authentication where you can give username and password use mail package at the receiver side right at the receiver side you are saying that use my data as my mail package wherein the data itself will have all the mail details like where to send what is the to address what is the from address what is my subject and what is my content you will look into all those things and then you can keep the attachments and then you can attach the security parameters right so nothing much on the receiver side is very simple to configure. You won't play around with so much. The only thing that you need to know is how to configure your URL. And if you have an user authentication, you can just add in the authentication. The whole trick of this mail is basically comes up with your URL and your data structure. The mail use a standard structure right, to send an email. right? So you have to have that structure is attached to this course, download it. So you have, when you follow that structure, when you have the right credentials to connect, this email adapter is very simple and straightforward to use. There's nothing much complex around it. It's just used to send email and receive email. And typically when you work with projects, I doubt you will be receiving emails from your channel. You will be sending emails as a notification. As I told you, different scenarios when the data validation is wrong, when your receivers cannot found, you know, you want to have an email notification sent over. When you find a file, you want to send a notification to a user. Those scenarios, most of the scenarios you will be using as a receiver email adapter. So try to play around with it. If you have a mail server available, you can reuse it. If you want a mail server to test your interface, do let me know. I can give you that access for a little price. Okay, so let's move ahead and do the rest of the configuration.